Hola, I'm MJ Marfori and this is Celebrity Top 10. Yes, we're here now in Tokyo, Japan because just last weekend we did some immersion about Japanese content with Netflix, uh, Philippines and Netflix Japan that I can't share with you just yet, but things are getting exciting. As we count down today's juiciest stories in the celebrity world, mapa local man o international, simulan na natin with today's number 10. All right, for number 10, ito sisimulan natin yung countdown dito. Mukhang si Mark Anthony, mahilig sa mga Miss Universe. Nagpakasal ulit siya last weekend sa isa pang beauty queen. Let's talk about it to start off. Celebrity Top 10, yes. So Mark Anthony is married to another beauty queen, Nadia Ferreira. Kung matatandaan niya, siya si Miss Universe for Sonora Paraguay. The wedding took place in Miami, Florida, attended by the Who's Who family, friends, and VIPs. Yes. Mark is 54 years old and Naya is 23 years old. They did get engaged eight months of being together. This is Mark Anthony's fourth marriage, guys. Kung natatandaan nyo, kinasal siya kay Jennifer Lopez, Dayanara Torres, at Shannon De Lima. O, oh, diba? Lover boy talaga si Koya. Anyway, we're moving on to number nine. <laughs> All right, for number nine, we're going to talk about J-Lo star shotgun wedding. Was it set in the Philippines? That's what people are talking about. We're talking about Jennifer Lopez starring in the latest movie, Shotgun Wedding, with none other than Josh Duhamel. And what's inter- interesting about this is that it is set in the Philippines. But wait, before you ask where specifically Josh clarified in the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, they filmed it in Dominican Republic. Alam nyo na, no, pag kumagawa kasi kayo ng Hollywood movies, kunwari... Nung nag-shooting yung Born Legacy dito sa Pilipinas, pinalabas nila, kunwari, nandun sila sa sa ibang Latin American country. Pero sa intramuros talaga sila nag-shoot. So may mga ganon, yung mga location manager na naghahanap niyan. O, oh, ba Pero yung maganda dyan, sa story, may fictional place na Mahal Island in the Philippines. And their plans were ruined by pirates who held the entire wedding party hostage. Watch it and explore the beauty of Mahal Island. O, ba At least na-promote tayo. Yun ang mahalaga. Anyway, guys, we're moving on to number eight. <music> Filipino performers shine in AGT All-Stars. Let's talk about some Pinoy pride right here. 11-year-old Peter Rosalita is back in America's Got Talent stage to give it another shot. Judges Heidi Klum, Howie Mandel, and Simon Cowell praised Peter's rendition of Michael Bolden's Go the Distance. Peter made a remark in the talent competition in 2021 by singing Celine Dion hit, but remember, he didn't make it to the finals. All right, so aside from Peter and other Pinoy talents are making waves in AGT All-Stars, such as the power duo composed of couple German and Anjanet Minor, who made it to the finals after performing Callum Scott's You Are the Reason. Their acrobatics and romantic moves led super fast to vote for them in the finals. Congratulations. Moving all along, along in the countdown. Parang nabub, na ano ako, yung daliri ko talagang napoprozen na. Pero anyway, itutuloy natin yan dahil nandun din sa winter wonderland ng Paris. Ang ating topic for number 7. Heart Evangelista and Jesus Codero, Glam Up in Paris. A lovely moment last week in the city of love. We do know it's Paris Fashion Week and Heart Evangelista was joined by her husband. Senator Jesus Codero in Paris for Fashion Week. This was one of the rare moments when Senator Chi was able to do that with heart in the city you love hearts, heart loves most. Fans and netizens praise Chi for being supportive and being there for heart. In the recent months, speculations about their marriage have been invading social media, but heart dismissed it by saying a shout out to Jesus one in one of her recent posts. The couple were seen traveling here in Japan recently. And with the kids of Senator Cheese. So that's that. But anyway, guys, let's move on to number six. Is Yuna and Don back together? There are reports circulating that Yuna and Don are being seen together in both domestic and overseas appointments like they used to when they were together. Siyempre, nahopo lang fans dyan. O diba, biglang umasa. Why not nga naman, di ba? Nakakaloo ka. But anyway, ang pinakabongga dyan, the two first met when, and went public with their relationship back in 2018. But prior to that, they have already been together for two years. It was only last November when 
they said they have broken up but baka naman di ba nagrekindle silang dalawa ewan natin and we're gonna keep you posted on that one as the information trickles down to us and even very fine yeah but anyway halfway on the countdown let's move on to number five Selena Gomez addresses concerns about her shaky hands. Shaky hands, parang ako nga yung giniginaw ako dahil ilang degrees lang dito, di ba? Pero talaga kailangan natin pakita yung aurahan natin para sa inyo. I love it. O, oh, pag-usapan na natin si Selena Gomez. So, sa TikTok video, Selena showed her makeup and skincare routine. And at one point of the video, her hands became unsteady. And Selena explained that it was shaking because of lupus medications. So Selena has been open about it, and when it comes to her medical condition, and according to the Mayo Clinic, lupus occurs when your immune system attacks its own tissues and organs. She already had a kidney transplant because of the condition from her friend. She also mentioned it in her documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. I love all the things Selena stands for, the project she has been doing now, and how chill she is with her life as a superstar trying to live the normal the most normal life possible isn't it amazing guys that is what an idol is like anyway moving on to number four may malaking nangyari harry styles splits his pants in front of jennifer aniston and of course it was in a concert so mamakasama ng isang libong tao mahigit pa so eto na paano magagawin mo di ba kung nangyari yun sa harapan ng crush mo mapunit yung pantalon mo yan ang nangyari kay harry styles while performing for his concert in los angeles california his pants suddenly split his people He performed and the audience saw his crotch. OMG, ang swerte ng mga fans, di ba? He covered it with a rainbow flag and clarified it was not part of the show and he did apologize kung may na-offend fan like a true gentleman. But his crush Jennifer Aniston was seen watching the concert at mukhang nakita nga ng kanyang so-called crush. Anyway, guys, we're down to our top three stories before we move on. Yes, Nako, eto na ha, may celebrity reveal muna tayo. Only Pinay member of the Foreign Journalists of Japan. Yes, binisita natin yan. Napanood nyo ba yan kanina sa One Relita, Pilipinas? Kahello, shout out kay Florenda Cruz. Pumunta tayo sa Foreign Journalists, Foreign Club, Correspondence Club of Japan, the oldest journalist club here in Tokyo, Japan. At tinuwan natin yan. Ang mga nagpunta lang naman dyan, sina Douglas na Arthur, sina Kennedy, at kung sino-sino pa, di ba, na talagang who's who ng ating history. Kaya talaga malaking bagay yan. Tinignan natin doon yung mga ginagamit ng mga journalists dito. At guess what? Iisa lang palang Pilipino at Pinay pa talaga siya. Yun nga si Florenda na nag-tour sa atin doon at sinabi nga niya yung mga hardships ng pagiging isang journalist dito sa Japan. Lalo na so nag-iisa siya. So pinipilit niya kunin yung mga storya at i- pakilala sa mga kapatid nating hapon dito ano para mas pakilala pa nila tayo and vice versa because we need representation here o ba diba? at eto pa mag move on tayo dito Korean heartthrob shine member Choi Min Ho had his first solo fan meet at the Mall of Asia Arena o pinanood nyo ba siya and also Rajé Jean Page was declared as most handsome man in the world according to Great Golden Ratio Beauty 5 the analysis was done by plastic surgeon Dr. Julian De Silva who used computer mapping to kick and Roger's score is the highest among the men in the list with 93.65. Ang hirap naman i-reach yung standards na yan. Kaya naman tama yung sinusunong natin. Let's just be beautiful in our own way. Second was Chris Hemsworth and Michael B. Jordan was the third. Well, others were Harry Styles, Jude Bellingham, Robert Pattinson, Chris Evans, George Clooney, Henry Golding, and Dwayne Johnson. Anyway, mag-celebrity rebuild na tayo no, sa ating top three. Here it goes, number three. Janela Salvador received smoked fish from a fan, a.k.a. Tinapa. Si Valentina, no, nag-trending online dahil sinaring nga niya regalo sa kanya sa isang out-of-town coverage nila or actually out-of-town show, rather, nung unique yung natanggap niyang gift sa bataan. Lahat kasi, na, na, ano, iba yung gifts. Siya nakatanggap ng tinapang isda. Sobrang sarap yan. Janela clarified naman eventually she loves tinapa. Hindi lang daw niya in-expect, di ba? Na yan ang makikita niya because it was wrapped in a prep paper with a ribbon. Wow! Anyway, guys, number two, we're moving on with this topic. <laughs> For number two, Paolo Contes on Yen Santos, what you see is what you get. Need we say more? We've been seeing it in malls, the Akbayan, Sweet Online. Paolo said this 
as he insisted that he will be fixing his issues privately, as he should. He admits and regrets that he was marupok during his six-year relationship with LJ, but he insisted Yen Santos has nothing to do with it. The boy, to boy Tito Boyabuna last Friday, Paolo also admitted he was not able to provide sustenance for all his three children, but Paolo said he's saving up, hoping someday he will have the chance to give it to them personally. Go, Paolo, please. You can still fix your life. Go, go, go. Anyway, for number one, trending na naman ng weekend, Dina Bonavi throws shade on. Well, we don't know if she did. Wala naman siya sinabi. Pero eto na ha, yun ang nyari nga ng weekend dito. No breaks or whatsoever as in her recent 61st birthday celebration, Dina was seen blowing a candle and cake and had another hard-hitting statement along with a waiter. She said that cakes are meant to be eaten, not to be pasted on other people's face. This comes after... Alex recently being bashed for the viral video of her putting an icing on the waiter's forehead. She then apologized for the incident. All right, that's that. Before we end, we do have a general reminder for everybody. Please stay safe from COVID-19. Mask if you must. Disinfect. Continue social distancing. Get vaccinated or boosted. That's it for today, mga kapatid. I'll see you tomorrow. Still here from Tokyo, Japan. I'll give you updates more what we are covering right here but thank you so much for joining us we are 445 on one news one ph radio 5 92.3 news fm i'm mj marfori you can follow me on my socials to know what is up it's mj marfori all across thank you so much for joining me and this is celebrity talk set Ta-ta.